New Richard Podcast, back again with another one. What's good, my boy Key? Nothing. What's going on, my man? boy Key? Why I say it like that? It sounds scripted. <laughs> my boy Key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This is a, a, a special episode, man. We got a we got a special guest with us. One we've been talking with for a few years. We finally got him down here chilling with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Hi guys, my name is Rhythm, all the way from Nigeria. Modern Nigeria. Lagos. <laughs> yeah. From where? Modern Lagos? Modern, yeah, Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's my brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. My brother. Yeah. <laughs> so look, when I did the uh the ancestry I forgot what's on it, the ancestry thing, you know, I'm I'm majority Nigerian. So when I posted it, my man hit me up. It was like my Niger, Niger brother, right? Yes, sir. What is that, Niger? Just like you say, um, it's it's a way to you know identify ourselves as brothers you know right ninja is like the short form of nigeria you know right oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a ninja boy you know ninja you know? boy you're not even yes. from nigeria <laughs> you're, not, you're not even from there <laughs> yes i am oh, bro he's ninja boy <laughs> right now yeah ninja boy you can get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm hey look i'm gonna take the test i'm gonna be 100 percent. you're gonna be jealous i'm gonna be hating like a bitch <laughs> Yeah, man. Look, so for the people that that don't know, tell us what it is that you do. I'm an Afrobeat artist, and uh, yeah, doing the Afrobeat, spreading the Afrobeat gospel here in the United States, precisely right now, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, pushing and pushing. That's what we do right now. Yeah, is this the only place you've been in the night in the United States as far as living? No, I've been to ATL, uh, Minnesota, Las Vegas. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, you, you yeah, got yeah. around. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Um, so I was about to ask you why Afrobeats, but I guess it's why because it's, it's it's it means something to you because that's that's your culture, right? Yes, sir. What what would your music sound like if you were you know back in Nigeria? Would it be similar? Afrobeats, yes. Okay, same Afrobeats. Okay, mm-hmm. with the S though. So right now we have you know. They have two different shades. I'll say. Okay. They, you know, we Afrobeat was coined from Afrobeat without the S. Okay. That was originally, I mean, originated by the legend himself, Fela Anikulakbu Kuti. Um. You don't even know what he just said. (laughs) You don't know what he said. (laughs) See, I'm not. I'm not doing. I know what he said. (laughs) So, um. You know, we, the newer generations, uh, I mean, the newer generation, the likes of Wizkid, Bonner Boy, DeVito, um, Kiss Daniel, you know, um, we started adding other flavors, you know, yeah. adding, you know, X plus Y, Y plus Z, you know, to yeah. make it more, more nourishing to the ears and stuff. So they had, they had to add the S. Afro beats, yeah, to make it Afro beats right now. So right oh. now, Afro beats, the umbrella of Afro beats is super big, super huge. Oh, okay. From that Afro beats genre, you can have subgenres on the Afro beats. You can have Afro hip hop. You can have drill Afro pop, Afro R and B, Afro soul, ah. and the likes. Um, they even have Afro jazz. They have Afro jazz. They have um. Wow, that's crazy. Afro, yeah. what's it called again? Um. Afro country right now, like what everything. Yeah. Out. yeah, what does that sound like? Oh, sounds nice. Really? Yeah, you're gonna love it. There's there's this guy signed to um, Maven Records, signed to um, Don Jazzy's record label. I think his name is Johnny Drill. Yeah, um, he he's doing the Afro country. So dope. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to search that Afro come out of Afro country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Doing, he's doing a whole lot. You know, you can you can come up with with um Afro Timons and you know <laughs> get, get it going and you know you create something out of the African sound. You know. So the Afro beats with an S is the more modern. Yes. That's the modern yes. sound. Yes. Okay. How, how do the Afro beat sound? Like, what, what makes it much different? I know you say you added, like, y'all added, like, a different flavor to it, but, like, what, what makes the sound so much different from the Afro beats? So, originally, Afro beat has a pattern that most people don't really understand right now. Right. Five, five beat pattern. Like, right. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's like with reggae, right? They got the doom. Uh, what was it called? Yeah. Um, this guy, um, for some reason, there is a connection between the core African sound with the hip hop sound. Yeah, I just gave a sound right now. I was trying to take you guys' mind to, um, I think that was um, PDD and um. Can't, can't hate me now yeah that yeah song, that's yeah. the song i was trying to yeah for some reason the moment that song came out i think um um the same period that song came out here in america there was another hit song and these two guys never knew each other are you serious yes yeah. i was singing i was singing the the nigerian version of that song then it reminded me of the american that's version. crazy the same period this guy never crossed path at all so we as black people uh i think our major sound is the afrobeat sound which everybody knows, okay you know? and it's like we we did it here without even knowing not even because known. it's in us yes it's, it's within us to make that yes those type of sounds sound good to us yes okay that's sweet you must that have heard uh, um chris brown chris brown whenever he jumps on afrobeat's track he kills it's, it yeah because it's can, in him he does great he does fantastic with it you okay know? yo so i know you came out with a project earlier in the year you want to tell us a little more about it yes sir uh i dropped um i was just a playing it a second ago yes sir a short project you know uh a mini ep I, like i call it but people call it ep you know mm -hmm. theory track ep um yeah we're doing well with the ep and and it feels good you know yeah coming out with something and getting recognized for it you know so far so good okay afro beast and jalof yes sir man look if you if you've heard anything about any well i'm not gonna say any african culture but the most common that we encounter you you've heard jalof yeah why did you make this title afro beast and jalof because that's all you be fucking with <laughs> the reason behind that track it was it was consciously um named okay put it that way um you know as of that time people were talking about up to this moment people st are still talking about afrobeats and jalof so i'm trying to with my music i'm trying to bring the culture mm. my music of course afrobeats yeah okay? i'm trying to bring the culture yeah with jalof you know jalof is it's it's deep it's really deep it has to do with celebration parties and you know um art um the way you dress you know to go for a party and stuff so i'm trying to use my music to bring everything together and if you listen to the ep you can tell that the ep has varieties it has it has core afrobeat and um it has afro dancehall slow jam mm -hmm. slow afro dancehall and um yeah it has urban afro beats too you know putting everything together to here we are you know? okay and it's three tracks why why three tracks i wanted i wanted to um it was like i say it was a conscious action yeah i was trying to bring everything to make it precise so it could penetrate through my listeners ears i mean my listeners are hot and stuff so um uh just like we know i can't i'm i'm a, an individual you know <clears throat> i'm an individual um record label you don't expect me to come out with 20 tracks album right. you don't know me yet right, mr right. a doesn't know me yet and by the time you listen to one two three they have to be dope dope so i had to come out with the tracks of course i'm gonna let me just boast a little i don't have any wax songs right now. <laughs> but, but um i had to come up with three dope tracks so by the time you hear it you listen to it you listen to it you okay this guy has something to speak this guy is going somewhere you know you yeah can reckon with every track in the album that's yeah. just that's just the sole reason why Nothing okay major with that explanation it makes sense why why you did three tracks yes. i'm normally the type of person uh when it's a little bit of tracks i'm like ah i want to hear more yeah, exactly. but yeah that's perfect reasoning perfect reason i've never heard it that way where people don't do a lot because they you know they feel like they're new 
and you don't want to give somebody a full entree just think of it like a, a new chef mm-hmm. and he put on a big ass plate you're like damn bro let me try a little bit first mm-hmm. it kind of make you feel like like back when people used to drop mixtapes and like i used to like an album back then they used to have a lot of songs just because they was dropping every once in a while yeah but like now like niggas drop a mixtape with like 25 songs on there even yeah. if they be already mm-hmm. it, like it kind of like you don't want to sit there yeah and listen to that shit. the three the three of them make you want more songs exactly you know? that's yeah. the idea and and right now you know um um what was it called i don't know if you guys remember chris brown there was a time he did 40 track album yeah i remember mm-hmm. that. that was when this idea came up to me like i love chris brown right but i'll be honest i didn't listen to didn't listen all to 40 tracks and right now it's it's a game of numbers nobody have nobody would have that time to want to sit down and and listen to lenten right tracks you know? i'll You're be tired. tired yeah but the good thing about it's just like you dropping a single and you know because you're not big big you know when you drop a single you put all energy put all force um, all forces or you know everything to it mr a gets to listen to it mr a could at least remember something or like you bombarding mr a with numerous tracks hey i have this hey i have this i have this mr a would just be like okay um man good job good job yeah, that's yeah. it they won't remember a thing but right now i can go to shows i can go to performances i can you know see oh. somebody and somebody can you know just i remember this track just like you were saying the other yeah. time you, you just mentioned one of the tracks to be you know something yep. you've listened to that's exactly so that, that's the major idea i want people to actually reckon with the sound and not to forget it and bec- i mean not to forget it by me making a mistake of bombarding them with too many you know yeah yeah that, that's a good point and as much as i don't like when people put out like short amounts it does work mm-hmm. it works because <laughs> that that track number two on me mm-hmm. i distinctly remember hearing that yes, sir. from 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 this past summer mm-hmm. and I didn't know that was your mindset behind it, but I gotta give it to you. It did work. Yes, sir. it did work. Yes, sir. Is that your favorite track on the on the on the project? Uh, uh, people love on me, but my favorite track is "Hold Me Down." Hold me down. Okay. Yeah, you know, it has a lot. Well, I would say I love every one of them, but I think I'm confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I love "Hold Me Down." <laughs> yeah. Is it a reason why that's the, your your favorite? Um. Uh, eight you know the song has to do with a whole lot i've been through the people around me supporting me the person closest to me the people closest to me supporting me you know they've been the ones holding me down and you know giving me reasons to want to do this more and of course the the supporters i don't call them fans i call them supporters they they're part of the reasons why we're doing this and um i added it to the song you know the lyrics you know um i have a lot of things i have a lot of people back there behind me holding me down to keep me going you know yeah yeah um what's i want to say oh yeah i normally do this first but i somehow i i the music was fresh on my mind because i was just listening to it so i want to go back a little bit when when did you first start creating music okay um <laughs> i i've been doing music not even knowing that um i have a huge passion for music i started with music from the church i think i was around six years old and you know along the line i my dad handed me like this to a coach that was how i started taekwondo so from taekwondo through taekwondo i was still doing music not even realizing I, I warm up with music um uh when i say i warm up with music some people just be like oh it's a normal thing everybody does you know yeah but my i fight with music you know i can be on the mat i still be fighting with music dancing with music so it became a thing of you know uh, then people know people used to know me as king fisher you know king and, fisher uh, yeah was it for what <laughs> uh when i was doing martial i mean when i was proactive active with sports taekwondo so um um all through this while music has been around i never realized that music 
was you know yeah until um 2018 that was when i no 2019 2018 2019 that was when i finally picked it up that hey it's i think i think i am really falling in love with music and i can do this i can create music Mm -hmm. why don't i just go into it you know yeah and that was how it all started i think 2018 2019 there about 2018 2019 Mm -hmm. do you think like like the availability of tools to create music like around 2018 like it was pretty easy to come across a microphone and you could probably get a computer that had an, an an audio software where you could record yourself did that have anything to do with it too or was it like man this is something that i that i want to really i really want to do that affected i think yeah you have a point if i had been able to grab my hands on these tools yeah from the very jump probably yeah. i would have even been doing music not even typing. yeah and it's not to say that because it was so easy that that's the only reason but it it, it made it more of a real thing to where you was like man i'm ready to lock in yes exactly okay so i just had to pick it up you know got the little i can get and um got all the tools i started getting them bit by bit and yeah right now i my studio is, is intact like standard studio so now i can make my music you know yeah and now i can fully come out and be like i'm an artist i'm a musician i want to make music because i know i can say it and still go back and create the actual music and keep it going and bring it to your ears i told you i'm a musician I told you I'm an here's artist. my music here's there you my go music. Exactly. exactly is there oh go ahead no no, no you, you got some I want to see like okay that. what was the first song you made where you was like Oh, that shit hard as a bitch. <laughs> Damn, this shit hard. Very funny. Very, very funny. Uh, the first song I did was I uh, um, Shamin. Uh, that was 2015. It was a pure freestyle, and most people don't. Most people wouldn't even believe me when I said I did that song less than 15 minutes. Everything back up, um, lead voicing back up, and everything 15 minutes yeah and uh, that was 2015 and uh you can it's it's on all streaming platform you know it was um um, shamin it's spelled s-e-a-m-i-n that was the era of uh what's it called the dance um shocky dance that they do this and go down and do this and do this i know you're talking (laughs) about yeah yeah it was it was a that was the era afrobeat um got into mainstream like mainstream mainstream and yeah. dance and all that became popularized and all that you know yeah so you made that shit he was like oh yes shit. <laughs> and people, shit was, people were telling me how long have you been doing this for a while right? i said no this, this is my this first is my song first. Yeah. word you know i got it right here i'm ready to click it yes sir <laughs> <laughs> you was probably listening to this beat like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, I'm on the one with headphones on. <laughs> When you when you search for the for the for how'd you get the beat for that? That was you know then of course you I just searched money. It. it was a free uh, online beat. And, yeah, and I I got it and um, as of then he he was a major major a big producer producing for the likes of uh, P Square. I don't know if you guys know P Square. Uh-uh. They are uh, um, these twin brothers and um, I think at a point they got signed to Convict. Come really acorns acorns convict i'm not sure but i know they had um an affiliation with acorns convict okay and um yeah okay so what do you even type in to find that that type of beat is it afrobeat or? yeah uh it was afrobeat and i was just you know i wanted to get this i was having this burning fire inside me to create music yeah i just went online and i was just looking for whatever funny enough the first beat i got hold on uh, um was this particular beat and and that was it 
That was it. I got a beat <laughs> and I, I called a friend of mine. I said, hey, I'm coming to the studio. I don't know what to do, but I'm coming to the studio. I just I just got this connection with this beat. And that was how this song came about. Yeah, that's And after the beat, I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't mean no, to No, no, go short. for it. Go for it. After the beat, I reached out to the producer. The produce the make the real the actual maker of the beat. Yeah. He said, "Man, you can keep it. This is a dope track." Really? Yeah, he said that. That was how it became. You know. That's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. And th- that goes to to show like sometimes you just gotta go. You just go yeah, for it. Yeah. Like you might not have a plan. You don't know what you're gonna say, what you're gonna do, but start taking those steps. Yes, sir. You know, you never know where you're gonna land. It was an like Afro beats type beat. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. uh you just had a release a few months ago. Yes, sir. What, is, is there a, a, a certain frequency of releases you like to do? Like, like, are you like a hit them back to back, or do you like to drop some and let it marinate for a little bit? Uh, drop something and let it marinate. Let it marinate. Just like we said, it will be pointless of me to just um, I'm hungry, but I don't want my hunger to make me look stupid i don't want my hunger to make me look like a mediocre i want to create music and put it put it out out there and make sure it's worth your time to listen to mm-hmm. I, I i just don't i, I don't want to be like hey i have to create music and just you know keep mm-hmm. putting stuff there and they are of no value you know so uh, i like to take my time even though i can freestyle and I can create music on the go. I can create music from you talking to me. I just don't want to rush into making, you know, mm-hmm. something I can be proud of. So I, I, like, I like to take my time. Mm-hmm. Man, I find it interesting. We, we got 23 minutes in, and I didn't even acknowledge the fact that you could, you got some some like like some nice vocal skills, man. You're not on here <laughs> rapping. You 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 putting a little a little a little singing on your voice. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Has it always been that way? Yeah, I. I've been singing all along. Like I said, I was in the choir I when I was in Nigeria back home. And I started from the church. And um, I used to have a band, you know, Just Brothers, with this twin. They, they're super dope. They're super, super dope. Mm-hmm. While I was chasing martial arts, I was chasing Taekwondo, the, my Olympics dream. These guys were busy doing music. They could play every instrument. And with that young, young, they could play every instrument. And... They tried to teach me a couple of instruments, but oh, you never I, got I, it. I never got it. Yeah, that sounds right now. I'm difficult. passionate about instruments and music. Basically, it's 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 spiritual to me, so I don't have a choice right now. Yeah, yeah. He used to be in a choir to it. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> I, I couldn't go. I could. I had. I had you, bro. I had you. <laughs> nah, man. What up? Nah, for real? For real? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But nah, did um. Like who who is your as far as your inspiration like that? Uh, I like, I have an old soul. I I listen to old music like so like Al Green. Yeah, uh, <laughs> um, but mostly from that part right. of the world. Right, I right, right. I listen to, um, I listen to few fella music. I'll take that back. I listen to fella music. Um, fella's music. Um, there's Oliver the Coke. There is um, uh, Victor Waifo. These are legends from Africa. Lucky Dube. I don't know if I got that Dube right. Um, mm-hmm. Bob Mali. I listen to their tracks, and um, of course, I listen to I listen to good good music. I okay. Just love good music. Okay. Know, meaningful good music. Even though you're not trying to make sense, let your nonsense make sense. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Is there any any genre of music that you don't like? No. 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 At a point in my life, I was calling myself a lover of good sound. I mm-hmm. love I love I just love sound. I just love melody. I just love rhythm. Mm-hmm. So long you have you might not even have the best of lyrics, right? But you have good sound, you have good rhythm, good melody. I listen to it. It could be rap. It could be whatever genre. I listen to good songs, like good music. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's it for me, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, what's your favorite type of American music to listen to? Of course, I love R and B music. R and B, R and B, and I should have uh, knew that. And uh, um, uh, I love 
you have to be dope dope you have to be just like i said even with your rap for me you have you 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 need you have to have melody you have to have um um rhythm for some reason i don't know i love kendrick lamar oh I yeah love, He's i am i am a huge fan of lil wayne oh yeah I am a huge fan Weezy, till till boy. till till that kingdom come. He's one rapper I love so much. Lil you know, Wayne. coming from a singer, I, I select rap songs I listen to. But Lil Wayne has it for me. Kendrick Lamar has it for me. Um, who again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I no, that's good, this, guys. Um recently i'm liking this guy too i love the way he he manipulates his vocals while he's doing his rap thing um i love the baby and little baby oh both oh, of them okay i love the the um the baby i love his energy the way yeah. he pops yeah. it yeah and yeah um little baby i love the way he manipulates and gives you that rhythm that flow yeah. he knows how to exactly <laughs> i love that song so for you to catch my soul to you know listen to your sound yeah you need to have something that is melodious and um rhythmic to you know to attract my soul you know yeah hence the name rhythm yes sir. and man <laughs> what am i doing we got 27 minutes in. i didn't even ask you how you came with the name man rhythm i'll be honest i'm not going to sugarcoat this finding a name is very tough right a name to you know to fit your per your per, um, personality right. your persona and all that it's very tough i used to go by king fisher all of a sudden king fisher just came out from the blues because with i mean with taekwondo i before people started kicking superior kicks in tournaments i was doing that i, I used to kick to the head like i kicked to the head at ease like everybody will be struck i mean for um kicking to the body everybody yeah. feels like kicking to the body is yeah is easier and kicking to the head is tougher but to me kicking to the body has always been tough for me yeah but kicking to the head was like woo. your yeah, body know, just knew to how to do it yeah. yep so kicking to the head was like uh you know basketball three points where, where you get yeah. three point from outside the the thing yeah you know, I'm, we used to soccer so i'm just using this as an <laughs> analogy so um kick into the head was three points and um you know when you in the the stuff again in basketball you do it you, you do the shot that's two points right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah inside the, the body point was two, two points yeah so that was how the name came about kingfisher while i was on the mat somebody was calling kingfisher and a lot of people started kingfisher kingfisher that was how the name came about and then so, you kicked the shit out of somebody in the head yep, <laughs> yep that was how i picked it i said okay i don't struggle about finding name for my music 2015 and i said okay since people don't buy kingfisher let me go by kingfisher yeah so i actually released that song by kingfisher and i had to uh let me check somebody might be um answering this oh, name yeah, yeah, so yeah. i had to google and i saw kingfisher blah 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 i said oh god and i've released this already okay i asked my friends i asked you know my babe uh, mm -hmm. i asked sorry i asked my kid brother my kid brother is always you know whenever i need ideas he, mm -hmm. he's a genius mm -hmm. whenever i need ideas i just yo philip what's up what's up tell me what do you think about this so he always support with idea and my friends um chief of Lotus, shout out to chief of Lotus, shout out to philip shout out so, philip yes sir what's happening yes sir so um <clears throat> they said they came out with a whole lot a whole bunch and um i asked my uh, uh i asked myself um are these names mentioned do i mean do they fit my person you know i had to filter it and i said okay that was the period i was i was defining myself i was asking myself lots of questions do i really want to do music do mm -hmm. i really want to go for this then um i started figuring out that i i was loving sound i was loving rhythm and and all that all those stuffs and uh as of that time you could even be um in the next door and be making for some reason it will catch my attention mm -hmm. you could be making the sound probably with your you know snapping the fingers or mm -hmm. 
you, your your foot on the floor or mm-hmm. the wall or maybe your voice you're just doing something crazy it will catch my attention that was how the name just popped like i'm loving rhythm i'm loving melody melody yeah. rhythm yeah, yeah. The name was like, i think i think i want to go to rhythm man. <laughs> that was how it came you know and i asked my girl and she said that's a smooth I name. name i, I remember when i was first introduced to you i was like oh okay mm-hmm. that's, but yeah, of course i'm gonna make it my middle name yeah it's gonna be official <laughs> i know you got uh you actually performing uh pretty soon right yes sir and you got rehearsals tonight yes sir. So i know we, we got a, a real short limited time we're gonna go ahead and roll into the freestyle topic this topic is something that can be completely random um that you want to talk about like we've talked about all types of stuff on here man aliens other podcasts got down who say jerry springer jerry springer yeah our show. and we always let the guests give an opportunity have an opportunity to come up with something so you got something you want to talk about uh, let's talk about african foods let's talk about nigerian food that's a great topic <laughs> dog nigerian food so you don't even know you never even had bro i'm, just... I'm learning now <laughs> you, better, you better try it man hey, look, hey i'm hey, learning now why are you calling me out <laughs> you're not even nigerian food here, bro. i'm in nigerian for like three months i just boy <laughs> word no that's a good topic man nigerian food so i've had a like different african food but i don't know if i've ever had nigerian mm-hmm. uh i can bet you you've heard of nigerian food is popular but later yeah on. Mm-hmm. like i well one of my friends is married to to um a ethiopian girl shout out kendrick and daggy and i, for, I always forget what this called but whenever we go over there and they're like celebrating something it's like this white thing it looks like a it's kind of spongy and you take it and you it's like this beef with this spicy man i don't know what that shit is called but it's so good i think i've heard that but i can't remember the name too i can't i can't remember okay yeah Yeah, but tell me tell me a popular nigerian dish with something (laughs) that you think everybody needs to try man you guys need to try jollof rice jollof rice is too popular jollof rice and fufu yeah too popular yeah there's something you guys really need to try gary gary yep I know it's Gary. It's the, uh, yeah. So so look, my um, my my roommate at college, he was Ghanaian. Oh, so but but they they ate Gary too. Mm-hmm. You talk about for the it's like it's like cereal, but it's grits type of thing. Yes, comes in a bag and you yes. just mix it's it in with water. milk. Yeah, and milk. Well, oh, water. He must be very rich. I had it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh snap! To have milk to it, hey, he yo. must be rich. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I've had Gary. You know what else? Uh, he had this season called Shito and shito, that's yeah uh, those i got are, something in the fridge right now for real for real yeah Woo, i love shit talk that's what's up see you're not yeah. even nah, i'm fucking with <laughs> you <laughs> 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 shit, shit no nah, nah, what, what is it though it's like uh i'm i'm gonna call it it you add it to dishes like for extra seasoning mm-hmm. so it's Ghanaian. yeah so, what's the what's the one y'all said before that gary what is gary it? gary is like um it's like uh, uh do you know about cassava have you heard of cassava oh, no, oh. it's it's um carbohydrate it's it's um starch starchy food um uh, how it's process uh, how they make it it's it, it's really organic and um for some reason for some reason i think africans should go do um studies about gary right There's something about gary when you put it without adding the milk sugar um uh, um some people use honey i use honey sometimes most times uh without adding the um the cocoa and and um the other um, things when you have gary and um cold water just like that and you drink the water for some reason it gives you instant energy instant strength really yeah but i don't know why africans nigerians are not doing studies to show the world like, why what is this that? thing yeah. yeah you know i don't know why but that's crazy you, you guys need to try it you know just put it and um you know see the top and drink the water you're gonna feel it oh, come on it's carbohydrate we'll yeah feel instant energy from that yeah you know? do you know this that there's a um a african shop uh on patterson it's not too far away do you know do you know about that one um, I can't think of the name of it. I, I'm not the sure. King. Uh, Is it goodness and glory? Maybe. Uh, there's one I know. Uh, I know about it's um. That's where I got the 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 shit talk from. I can't remember if they have the the Gary too. 
for Gary. They, they definitely will have Gary. Gary is, is a popular West African food. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I haven't had it in years. This was like 2011. Nah, it's 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 dope, dope. I it's love like it. A, Sweet oatmeal, or sweet it, rice. It's or something? Uh, oh. it's like um, how would I put it? Like it's, grits. It's, yeah, grits. Yeah, kind of. Um, I'm trying. It's to, a little look, harder than grits, though. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out something American that is closely related to to how it looks and um and stuff. I'm trying to think, think, think. Does it look Ooh. like cream of wheat? I can't really remember. Uh, uh, is it? Uh, uh, do you know cream of wheat? No. What okay, that? that's almost like it's similar to grits, but it's not. It's it's the same, like the little small. I don't know how to explain it. Yo, yeah, search it, bro. Uh, yeah, can pull we it search up. it? Yeah, yeah, let's pull it's it up. It's like um, it's spelled G A R R Y. I mean R R I. G A R R I. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Gary. Yeah, bro. It looks like. Yep, this is how it looks like. That's it. Yeah, he said he was rich if he put it in milk. <laughs> <He> <laughs> asked, when I when I was when I was back home, when I was in you know you know, if you don't have, uh, uh rich only the rich people, um, not only the rich people, some poor people go out, go that extent to get milk, sugar, um, some even go as far as adding um, um, cocoa. To it and some go as far as adding peanuts, but we okay. call it groundnut back home. And uh, some go as far as adding banana to it. Oh, yeah, yeah you must I'm have money to, have, be to good. add those stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. I've done that when I got here, though. It's really, really good, yeah, it's really good, you know. And still, the same that same Gary, you can make it. I don't know if you've heard about fufu, you can still make it as fufu to, to eat it with soup. Oh, that, mm-hmm. That's what I be seeing people um, be, be grabbing that and dip. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's, my favorite right now it's fufu. They call it fufu, but we call it um um pounded yam. You pound okay. the yam, fufu and white soup. Okay, yeah, I've never had fufu. With ice fish? Who? Nah, you play. Man. Nah, man, I never For had real? never had fufu. Man, you better y'all better try it, man. He not really. <laughs> he's not your boy. Okay. He's not really. <laughs> So, so when y'all try it, you're gonna love it. Can we bro. find it here? Yeah. Where? The same African store. The African stores here have. But do I have to cook it? Um, you could get a girl to cook it for you. you know? See, but see, but but, <laughs> but you, you can cook it though. You but can. she got to know how. So is it a special way to cook it or nah, not? Nah, nah. Um, you just put water on fire, and when water starts boiling, you pour the water and stir. Oh. Yeah, you can find it on YouTube. Oh, you okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. It's yeah. easy for real. Yeah, but well, you got the muscles. You, you know, I can do it, man. I, I just thought I had to like. I I didn't know if it was meat or or what it was. The soup? No. Um. Is that so? It's fufu soup? No, fufu is doughy. You eat fufu with soup. Oh. You dip it in the soup, man. Okay. You know. All right, that ain't so bad. <laughs> I can figure that out. I mean, yeah, I, I done seen videos. For real? Looking good though, yeah. Oh, it's like it's like, it it's like you break right? it off. The fufu? Yeah. Yeah, you cut it. I've and seen that. You roll it, you mold it to yeah. the size of your... Let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> and you dip it in the soup and swallow, you know? Yeah. Okay. But my favorite is white soup. Some people, you know, there's... In Africa, they, they have lots of soups. Yeah. There's white soup. I love white soup. There's okra soup. There's egusi soup. There is vegetable soup. Uh, Too much. That's two, yeah. There, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Um, All right, is it? Are there any other dishes you think we should know about? Fufu. That's a that's that's a lot. Fufu a lot. Yeah, I heard. Uh, basically, West Africa. I'm from West Africa, Nigeria. We uh, fufu jollof rice, and uh, and most people call just call jollof rice. There's there's a, millions of ways you can you can make. Rice. Yeah, because I hear it's like jollof. There's the way Ghanaians rice. do it is different from how Nigerians yes. do it. Yes, and they, I don't know for some reason Nigeria Ghanaians, the Nigerians Ghanaians, they have this I don't know food war and stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? a competition who has the best jollof rice and all that. 
They're Ghanaians, Nigerians have the best jollof rice. <laughs> no plate. You hear that, Frank? <laughs> no Frank. <play. laughs> Nigerians got the better jollof. That's my my old roommate from from Ghana. You better know, brother. We have the best jollof, man. Yeah, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I know you got to go. Is there, is there anything else you want? A message you want to leave for the people? Hmm. Uh. Uh. I'm, I'll say um, with the way the world is right now I just think everybody should just um, be about their happiness be about anything that gives you joy and you know the world is filled with depression and, and, and sad news and sad stories right now but you only got you you only, you only have you you know just stay and do whatever makes you happy. Just stay floating and be happy. That's what I have to say, man. Word up, man. You know? Word up. You wanna you wanna drop your socials? Where, where where can people find you? You can find me on all social media at rhythm underscore underscore. Um, Instagram at rhythm spelled as R H Y T H I M underscore underscore. Same thing as Twitter. Same thing as TikTok. Um, everywhere only different from i mean um facebook is just rhythm right type at rhythm music you're gonna find me or you type rhythm you're gonna find me on facebook word up all right man we appreciate you coming by dog yes, long sir. time coming glad we got the we got the lock in yes sir. and don't forget stream my music please stream the music on man all streaming platforms there you go yes, go ahead sir. bro you want to drop your, your your socials oh yeah yeah shit, i do this shit every time man <laughs> on instagram social intellect s-o-c-i-a-l-n-t-e-l-l-e-c-t <laughs> yeah car collect shut your ugly ass up. <laughs> twitter who we are on twitter i do this too uh social, social underscore. underscore intellect with the n i know his socials better than him Man, I know your social. That shit five seven three two four. <laughs> All right, y'all. New Richmond Podcast on Instagram. New Richmond Podcast on YouTube. New Richmond Show on Twitter. Follow my personal Instagram T E I M O N P H I L L I P S. Follow my personal Twitter C A L L M E E T E E. Oh shit! Underscore underscore C A L L M E E T E E. Some other nigga gonna get a follow, man. Who is who? Why these people? face has new rich <laughs> <laughs> um oh yeah follow pro creators on instagram pro creators rva uh pro creators rva also on twitter yeah man and we here we here bitch <laughs> all right news the podcast we out peace <laughs>